what's up everybody welcome back to third person this is third person podcast my name is chris that's mike what's going on and as you can see we've got another third person with us it's none yes. only than daniel Wu himself what's up guys uh Hold on. guys let me show you this let me show you there that there it is that's it right there beautiful <laughs> shirt, <laughs> beautiful shirt. Dan, uh, daniel thank you once again for being on our show we absolutely appreciate it of course we're humbled um guys this week um into the badlands was snubbed emmy nominations for um it didn't get any of the recognition that it deserves for being the phenomenon that it is and daniel's here to help us shed some light on the subject and you know to talk about what makes a show so special right so yeah daniel floor is yours what do we got yeah i want to just have an open conversation about what everyone else thinks i mean obviously i'm biased because <laughs> i work on the show but at the same time what other shows are doing similar things to what we're doing and then how do you compare and like I've always assumed that we would have that nomination in the bag. Now, previous the previous two years, we kind of messed up in terms of how to submit the application, okay. and we didn't get it done in time, and that's why we weren't we didn't get it done the first couple times, right? Okay. But this year, we made sure we did it correctly. We did everything right. We submitted the right stunt coordinator, everything, all that stuff, and uh, you know we're still snubbed. And it's like, what's going on here? Why does that happen? Is this also a popularity contest. I mean, we know a lot of the other categories can be a popularity contest, but when it's a show like this, I don't think it's as, I don't know, subjective as it th as people think it is because, it, you know, we are, I've seen many, many articles written about our show as being the best action on TV, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you're in that category, then why aren't we even mentioned in, in that? Like, winning is one thing. I think Game of Thrones is amazing. They bring some action to a crazy level. The Battle of Bastards was insane. That was a, such an insane action sequence. And they deserve stuff like that. But then I see some of the others and I'm like, they're not even action shows. Yep. <laughs> you know? And it seems like, oh, because they got a lot of eyeballs on them. And I know how the voting works sometimes. You know, you're a voting member. You don't have time to watch everything. So you look at the names and you go, oh, I, I heard of that show. I'll click this, click this, and click this. That could be part of it, too. I also wonder if it's also, you know, the stunt world is one of kind of old school Hollywood thing. It's it's basically a bunch of old white dudes that yeah. are mostly stunt coordinators. There are a few Asian guys there, but there are no black guys. There are no women. Yeah. There may be a couple of women here and there, but very, very few. And um, also the fact that we shoot in Ireland, that we're not technically an American union job, you know. Oh. I wonder if there's some protectionism going on there mm -hmm. that's preventing us from, from, from being nominated or from being voted for. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of factors, I think, and I think another thing is not enough eyeballs. I mean, this show is interesting in that when you talk to people, either they've seen it and love it right. or never heard about it, but there's never that in-between group that's like, oh, yeah, I saw a couple episodes, not really my thing, or, uh, you know, I heard of it, but I haven't seen it. You know, it's not in the vocabulary, the home, you know, everyday vocabulary of people. So, yeah. so when you think of action, you don't think of it, you know, immediately. Um, but people who have seen it are... You know, obviously, like all the comments from my post, my rant about us not getting the Emmy, like there's 450 comments on there is most I've ever gotten about just that subject is like, what are they thinking? You guys totally deserve a nomination. Like winning is another thing. That's totally different. I just think that we deserve to be in the conversation of great action shows yeah, on television. Absolutely. You know? So recognition like you do. That's part of the reason you're doing it is because. You're creating something. You're creating this entertainment, this world, and and that's why people are watching TV. That's what Netflix is for. That's what yeah. Hulu. It's what the whole thing is for. And yeah. you're creating this amazing thing. And there's and the fact that it's not be, like there's literally no difference than your show than any of anything that was ever nominated. But the point is, is that like you said, like you you I mean. It's it's beyond me. When it when it went down, we were like we were messaging each other like, wait, what the hell? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, right. how, how is that not a thing? You know, and obviously we're also biased because you yeah. know Love we've been show. here since the beginning. Yeah. We love you guys. You know, and and this is this is actually this is our favorite show for many reasons. Well, you know what also upsets me about it is that I'm upset not for me but for the team that puts right. this thing together. You yeah. know what I mean? Like those dudes and girls work so hard on this show. And it's unlike any other show in that we, you know, I saw the interview you guys did with Sherman. He explained that we have a fight unit going the whole time right. that the drama unit is going. So these, our core stunt team is working five to six days a week mm -hmm. for nine months yeah. on this. Mm -hmm. Unlike other shows that they break off a day or two to do action 
for one episode, you know. Right. And I know a lot of the a lot of the shows, you know, it's half a day of action or four. You get four hours right. to do an action scene. We're spending like six days on a single action yeah. scene, right? We have thirty people involved: men, women, people of color. It's a very diverse cast. So we also have a very diverse stunt team. Probably the most diverse stunt team out there. Yeah. Um, and people from America, people from Europe, people from Asia. You know, it's very, very globalized and it's like very unique situation. And when I'm on set, I'm so proud of that like diversity. You walk around, you look at all the people and the different skill sets, the men, the women, everybody. It's just like yeah, this is contributing. Yeah. this is the future. Yeah. Like this is what yeah. the future should be. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And then for them to not get any recognition, like it's a hard world for some people, yeah. right? And to be able to put a show on your resume that got an Emmy nomination or any nomination for action is is a big deal for those guys, right? And I'm pissed off for them, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Like, they fucking work their asses off, yeah. you know, every day, and they put their asses on the line, you know? It's like you, their lives on the line, you know? <laughs> and, and, and to not get recognition for it. And not to mention our cast. I mean, you know, our cast work really hard to pull off the stuff that we do and then yep. you know there's been a lot of crying there's been a lot of like i'm not sure i can do this you know and we push them through and they get through it and they work so hard on the show and you wouldn't know it i mean everyone on the show is a badass yeah. and everyone fights like a badass and they're doing a lot of the actors are doing a lot of the work themselves yep. and so they deserve the credit they really do deserve the credit um even so just they, a nomination yeah, you know? even even um the, the costume designing and, and the set design. It's, that's the thing. It's, so it's those not are a whole bunch of other categories, it's just, yeah. It's the whole thing. Like, there's not an episode that goes by that Mike and I are, like, are not like, damn, that costume is sick. You know? Damn, that fight was yeah, sick. We spoke that about was a that sick line. Sherman. Like, every single thing about this show is, yeah, yeah it's like, it's, yeah. it's unbelievable. And, like, you know, and, and, and now, now I'm getting riled up now because I'm thinking about it. <laughs> and I, it, right, this show down. is so damn enjoyable. And it doesn't matter if you like martial arts, if you like this, and it's so fantastical and so, it's it's man, just it, the story. And we mention that all the time. It's not just a, like a fight show or a martial arts show. It, just the story itself is is great. Do you think it's something? Is there something against the channel, against AMC? Is it because I don't even think there's been any kind of nomination or even a win? Um, I think maybe Walking Dead might Back have gotten. Was it Mad Men? Mad Men won some stuff, right? Yeah, but see, now we're talking about a show that's not, but, yeah, but th- I guess, right? But that was years ago, and it's, like, not... Are you, are you talking about just action? Yeah, like, you... well, yeah, I guess in general, just, like, the shows that are on now, you know, when you talk about Badlands, you're talking about Preacher, you're talking about Walking Dead, like, these are some sick shows yeah. that do some amazing things, and it's, like, you know, like Mike said, is is it is it an AMC? AMC, bar none, has some of the best shows on TV right now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You would, you would, just basically, you would think that there would be more nominations or, or even in that wins. category, right? I, no, I agree. I agree. Network, the, I mean, you know? network. Yeah, definitely agree. It feels like yeah, they had a lot in the beginning with let's say Mad Men, Breaking Bad, that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. And then after that phase passed, this new era of AMC, like nothing's been nominated. Is it not like not- yeah. And I'm wondering, I don't know. I mean, it does take a certain bit of campaigning to to yeah. win these things and get these nominations. I'm wondering if they haven't put as much effort into it yeah. because of the record in the past. They assume that, you know, they're going to get that recognition. Obviously now, obviously, they, they may know now that that's not working. Yeah, yeah. Um, that could be part of it. Um, but I think there's also just a lack of general awareness of the shows. I think a lot of people do know about Preacher and obviously Walking Dead still, but... But like the terror or the, these That's, other shows, I, was gonna I, mention that too, yeah. I don't think people know about those shows that much. You know, I don't think they sell them as hard as they sold the other shows in the beginning. You know, like Mad Men, and those ones. Yeah, well, which is what, crazy. What, because well, wouldn't you think that that would be think about something right. that they would right? Think about the fact that publicize. The Walking Dead, right? So you're watching yeah. Walking Dead, yeah. And there are commercials for Badlands, for the Terror, for yeah. Preacher, for you know this new show Dietland, the new show Lodge Forty Nine, yeah. like. People are watching that, you know, obviously, you know, people are watching the commercials. So it's mm-hmm. like, how are you not aware of that? Especially if you're watching the Walking Dead shows and stuff like yeah. how will people look, the Walking Dead's still getting phenomenal numbers, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's like, how yeah. if that many people are watching it, how are they not seeing these shows and, and go, oh, that looks pretty crazy. Let me I'm going to take a look at that when that comes on. And, you know, and, and these shows are coming on after the other shows they're watching. Yeah. So 
Right. Are, are you people turning it off? Like, what's what's the deal? Like, well, I, I know, I know some Walking Dead fans purposely don't watch us because we get sandwiched in between them and uh, Talking Dead, right? Yeah, so yeah. So they got really pissed off about that. I remember in the first season, there was, like, all these comments, I'm not watching this show just because of the principal. You know, oh, um, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you with a lead in, like, Walking Dead, you should be able to get a lot of eyeballs to everything else, you know? Okay, yeah. But I think it, you know, goes beyond that because I think you need to, you know, hit other things. Like this year, I did see, you know, AMC did advertise at one of the UFC fights, that big one that oh, uh, yeah. Conor McGregor screwed up by throwing, yeah, yeah. Get, cutting, you know, injuring oh, that guy. Yeah. Um, that one, we, I did see Into the Badlands advertising on the on the posts of the Octagon. Like, oh, I just want to ask you guys. I mean, you guys watch a lot of stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, what other shows are in this realm? Well, you know what. This is, here's what the other shows do you think got snubbed for this action thing? Because there are definitely other shows that have better action than some of the stuff that was nominated. Well, that's you know sure. what? It's 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 crazy. And before I answer that, I'll tell you, like, for us, we watch, like, on our channel, we've done Game of Thrones. We've done the Walking Dead shows. We've done right. the Leftovers. You know what I mean? Like, we've done these these amazing, absolute amazing shows. And yeah. and And the thing is, like, when you watch a lot of TV stuff, you know, like, you're, you know, you're zoned into what shows are really good and what shows just aren't making the yeah. cut anymore, you know? Right, right. And, you know, for me, it's it shows like Mr. Robot, you know, not not so much action-orientated or Legion right. or, right. you know what I mean, things like that. And, you know, and, and Preacher's getting up there. Like, I just started, right. we just did a Preacher video on our channel yeah. because it's, yeah. again, it's one of those shows that's just, it's a unique show. Yeah. And, you know, so it's things like that. Like, again, we, we, we're so focused on it. Like, you know what's a good show and what's not a good show. Yeah. You know what's good writing. And the thing about Badlands is that, you know, we mentioned it earlier in the season and Sherman brought it up because he remembered it. You know, your, one of your first episodes, if not the first or maybe second, um, there wasn't even a fight scene until 30 minutes in. And that oh, yeah, was, yeah. it was beautiful because we were just so enthralled. Like, it wasn't like, oh, when's the fighting going to happen? It was like, when the fighting came on, I was like, Okay, hold on. What, let's go back to the story for a second. You know what I mean? Like, and then the fight scene blows you away. So it's like, what you guys have been like been able to accomplish this first half of this season. You know, it it really you know, and we're not blowing smoke. It blows many many other shows out of the water. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Right. No, I feel like we were able to hit our stride this season. Like, I think first season we were getting our bearings straight. Second season it started to flow, and then this third season it really really gelled together well. Um, yeah, and I, I feel like there's no other shows doing some stuff like this at all on TV. Plus, like what you're saying is like bringing it with the costumes, bringing it with the cinematography, yeah. editing, you know, sound design. Even the music, I think, has been great. It's, wow. it's, a, um, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. And, like, not, and, and the weird thing is like our set designers and um, some of our costume designers were on uh, Penny Dreadful, which got nominations yeah. before. Right. Yeah. We're using the same production crew that was on Penny Dreadful. Right? right. They got nominated. That show got canceled. Right. For stuff. And it was like it's the same guys like the yeah. you know, and they're actually doing better work on our show than Penny Dreadful because they're allowed this world building. Right. Yeah. And so like, you know, Philip Murphy, one of our guys from from their set designer from this season, like it's done amazing yeah. stuff with the sets that we have. Yeah. Oh, I mean, absolutely. you should see like I mean, coming to our sets, like people are amazed that this is a TV show. Like, to yeah. them, it looks like a big budget movie. And then even me, like, I've been in the business for 20 years and right. jaded, pretty jaded. Yeah. Like, I walk around the sets, and I'm like, whoa, okay, this is amazing for a TV show. Yeah. And so, yeah, to not, you know, all these guys that bust their asses and not get credit. I'm sure, yes, a lot of people bust their asses and not get credit. Yeah. But but we're, I feel like we're up there with the other, you know, high-ranking shows and to not get credit for it. And also, these people who have been nominated and won stuff before, you know, to not get credit just because this is a genre show or something weird that people don't understand, you know. And I think that's part of it also is that, oh, you hear martial arts drama. Okay, that takes a little bit of motivation for someone who's not into that genre to get into. Yeah. You know, but a lot of people, once they turn to it, once they look, put their eyeballs on it, they get turned, you know. Because it's compelling. Like you said, it's, com it's compelling. And the story, you know, we, we're, we're enthralled with this story. And, and what's really great is that, you know, we – Listen, man, we're big on the dialogue, you know, right. and on past right. videos, we've been like, what? Why? Why would this person say that on your show? However, it's like you guys don't have campy dialogue. You have you have fantastic actors. Every one of your actors does fights. Every yeah. one of your actors has these amazing lines. You know, Sherman talked about you and Nick and, and that and like you and Nick together are some of the 
you, let me tell you, man, <laughs> you and Nick rival Simon and Nick. I'm going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's saying something, you know, because those guys are right. awesome. Yeah, and, yeah. And I love watching you just as much as I would love watching them. And it's uh -huh. just so cool, you know, your character playing off of Baji. And, and, but that's the point. Like, it's, you don't have dumb, campy dialogue inside of a fight show. You have this right. amazing story. And, and the where your story has been going. You know, we did it. We did a theory video prior to the yeah. season, being like, yeah. "Will Badlands get too mystical?" You know. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I was worried. That, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. you know what? You know, you know, half of it is that's our concern, but also half of right. it is, you know, you want to put it out there. And please, we absolutely love this direction. Like, it's so subtle. It's yeah. done so well. The Beji in the back watching, like, ah, oh, crap, you know. Right. And, right, right. and uh, I was gonna say Daniel, but Sonny standing there with his son, and like, you can't like. That's drama. Like him, Mike and I were like, "Oh, you know what's gonna happen?" Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, Pilgrim's right. got the eyes, and you're like, "Ah, crap!" All yeah, right. The, the world, right. the world has grown so much from the first season. Yeah, you know, completely. Even, even last season, and just we're getting more, more and more characters, which is which is great. Um, we're getting little hints of where the Badlands is located on, you know, yeah, in our world. Yeah, we're still taxi, trying to figure that out. Right. The New right. York's, uh, city taxi uh, door. Right. That you right. Have. Right. So it's. Um, it's it's gotten so great. So it's what what do you it, what do you think what what can happen now, um, or what what do you think the the channel can do, uh, to 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 kind of get this out more? So maybe we won't, we won't have this next year. These snubs or is there anything that you feel, um, the 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 channel is is lacking as far as getting getting your your name out there, the Badlands out there. I don't, I mean I really don't know. I mean I don't really know how else because you get the it into the. Are still very very good. Yeah, they're 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 decent ratings. Yeah. There's a pretty good turnout. You know, um, there's eyeballs on it, and we have like a very strong hardcore fan base. But yeah, like yeah. you know, there's interesting things like we're not going to be at Comic Con this year. Oh. You know, it's just the decision they made, and so it's really? like okay. You know those kind of things. It seems like it would help build the snowball. You know, is what that's what you need is to be pushing the snowball along so it gets of bigger course. and bigger yeah, and bigger. Of you know? Yeah, of um, and Can we so, lobby for yeah. you to get to Comic Con? Or you yeah, I mean that'd be you amazing. Show up there and um, you know, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Or even like <laughs> we did New York Comic Con. We did, okay, we did Comic Con San Diego before the first season aired, so it was kind of like didn't really garner any traction because yeah. people didn't know what they're going to expect. Yeah. But now that the show's aired, we've done WonderCon, right. and we were the first group to go in the morning, so there's like 250 people there, yeah. but it could have been bigger if we got a better spot in the, during the day, you know? Yeah. And yeah. then now we're not doing anything else. Um, and then the second half of the season is not going to air until, I hate to say this to you guys, well, but not going to air until the beginning of next year. Yeah, I we know. See, we didn't think that yeah. that was even... True. Yeah, we saw we saw Aramis's post when he yeah. was doing ADR, and he's like, "Oh, confirmed January." We were like, "Oh no." Yeah, no, we didn't. We didn't even know for a long time, and we were guessing. Like when we were doing ADR, I could see there was a trademark at the bottom that said 2019. Yeah. So I was like, oh, "Okay, so it's going to definitely happen in the second half of the year." And then we finally got word that it's pretty much going to be January of uh, of 2019. Was that because of Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's well, yeah, yeah. I, because all the IMD. Uh, IMDb, IMDb says 2018, says 2018 yeah. for the next half, and I was like, Yeah, I mean, I, those I aren't think, legit. Some, yeah, those yeah. just put it on there. Yeah, I mean, I think there was talk of of it coming back on in the fall. Yeah, That's what but I think I think they want. Um, I think Walking Dead picks back up in January also, so I think they want it to be the lead in yeah. for for Badlands, so that they have two shows in tandem going at the same time. Okay, so is that there, might. Is be. there a new show coming in the fall or anything, or is it just maybe because of the fear stuff and? Maybe it could be a backlog of all kinds of other stuff, you know. The out, yeah. I mean, obviously yeah. they got to keep trying, and that's fine. If you, so, so you're going to be on after Walking Dead? I believe so. Yeah. That's. I mean, that could be good. Yeah. You, you know, because I mean, you that's got what that happened audience. the first season. Yeah. That's what happened the first season. We got crazy numbers the first season. Yeah. Um. Um. And I think that would have, be helpful. You yeah. know, yeah. for definitely, but um. You know, I think definitely, you know, reaching out. I seen, okay, on Instagram, I saw like they were advertising at Formula Drift. Yeah. So they're trying to reach into that audience. But I think they need to do more mainstream stuff. You know, mm -hmm. it's not, the fringe audience is there. They're all there. Yeah. Like we've done all the press for that. I've never done a talk show. I've never done, I've never talked to any kind of real mainstream media besides yeah. Variety and Hollywood Reporter. Those are, but those are industry. Those are industry media. Right. Magazines, you know, about, about this show. 
And there's so much to talk about. I mean, there's so much to talk about, like my personal story of like being, you know, an actor in Hong Kong for 20 years, right. being American, going over there and then coming back here. Also, the fact that I'm also one of the few Asian American male leads on the show in America when we're yep. talking about diversity all the time, right? That's, a, that's the thing. That's the, right. That blows my mind. Especially now, you'd think that a show like Badlands would be touted for the beautiful because diversity yeah, that's going exactly. on in that show. Yeah, I mean, and we're consciously trying to make this show really diverse. I mean, you can tell by the the actors, but not just the main cast. If you look at the background actors and the yep. extras, yep. we cast diversely. I mean, we're making a conscious effort to make this a new era of kind of television. And and that's what Hollywood, quote unquote, is was heading towards the Oscar so white and all that stuff. But then when your show's really doing it, no one really cares. No you know? one's doing it, no. You're right. Well, you so, know what? That's disappointing. January, look, then, so that means, Mike, we got a lot of videos to make. We got to keep the Badlands alive. We're going to keep it alive. I didn't want to believe that that was true. I know, but <laughs> listen, we're going to have to work it out. Listen, man, we're going to listen. We're going to have to keep. We're going to have to keep putting out videos for Badlands, man. So you might have to be coming back on and let's let's sure. Let's get you sure. on. We'll you know what? You, I'm, you know? Re I'm do ready to do whatever to help. You know, like I, it's a, it's it's kind of shocking to me how little promotion we've done for the show. You do a film, right? You do a, um, like, for example, and I traveled around the world doing press for it, right? Like right, for Badlands, we haven't done any of that, you know. And I'm not sure if that's, you know, AMC side not lining that up, or is it not, you know, people not interested and not wanting us to be there, you know? I don't, I don't really know. I'm I not, I'm not sure. About it's hard to believe that that um, that AMC wouldn't want to push the show. Yeah, no, I think for every reason for uh, every reason we said today. Yeah, exactly. Especially, right. I mean, I hate to keep saying it but the, like, the walking dead is such a popular show and the channels it's a huge channel yeah so why yeah. wouldn't you want to keep pushing i, I think the comic-con thing is kind of what can we do too. to get you there at least in october for new york because my kids and i are going to be there well my family's going to be there and we want to meet you in person so what can yeah. we do to get you there man like you I, know? Mean, I mean i mean all it takes is like for amc to go okay we should send them there for the to promote the second half of the season you know all it takes is someone to invite us or maybe make a request to AMC and go, hey, we really yeah. want them there. You know, I, I don't I don't know. I, I mean, it's because it's their decision at the end of the day whether we get to go or not because they have to front the bill for right. it, you yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, and I don't think Comic-Con pays to do that either. So, right. so yeah. obviously, AMC has to front that bill. So, yeah. at some point, you know, they have to decide that that's economically uh, a good decision for them. And, I, I, you know, I don't think it really costs that much at the end of the day compared to advertising and stuff like that. I mean, when so you're going to have right, yeah. And when, yeah, you're, you when you're dealing with such a such a big channel, you wouldn't think that well, the penny-pinching thing would be an issue. Well, the other thing like is, like, years. this show is made for Comic-Con people, yes, you know? Yes, yes. Genre, like, that's what it is. Okay. It's... I, to step back a bit, like, mm. I'm, a, I'm, I'm one of these, like, geeks. I'm a mm. martial arts you know, movie geek. I've been watching martial arts movies since I was like five years old. Yep. And so like this show we created for, okay, one one of the main points was to bring Hong Kong level action to movie action to American television. And right. I feel we did we did that, right? Yeah. Oh, but absolutely. also to integrate that like the wuxia style into an American genre. Right. And so how do we do that? We put it in a post-apocalyptic world with no guns. and. Right created this whole world, and I think we successfully did that. I mean, that was the hardest part, was to take that like period-style kung fu movie stuff and put it in an American situation with English dialogue and have it make sense. I mean, I've been asked to do a lot of, like, let's say, period Chinese movies, but with English dialogue, and I always think that's weird, because yeah. if it was a period thing in China, nobody would be speaking English, right? right so I'd rather right, just yeah. do it in Chinese. There's always, it's always been an awkward situation. Like, Crouching Tiger 2 is weird watching that, you yeah. know? Um, to see that. And so, like, I feel like we successfully did that with this show. It's integrated all those things together. And so, yeah. you know, it is it is frustrating to me when, you know, you you climb this really steep hill and achieve this thing. And then, no one, I mean, you guys obviously know, but no one else recognizes that. And But the thing is, is, like, we did it for the fans that have been dying for this for years. Because I'm American, too, and I know that mm -hmm. all Americans have to go to like foreign films for that, you know, yep. all their whole yep. lives. Like that's another thing I want to talk to you guys about, which mm -hmm. is like the New York martial arts movie scene. I mean, that's always been a strong thing since like the seventies. Right. Right. Um, and so, um, and that, I mean, that's a big, big kind of motivator for why we made this shows. Cause we knew those audiences were there yeah. and we were wanted to make it for them. Right. And yeah. for us too, because we, me, like Stephen Fung, all those guys are all like Kung Fu movie geeks. Right. And so, 
and if you like you look at our fights and you see we homage certain fights from other movies in the past and all that stuff it's we're doing that for the fans so why aren't we at comic-con we're doing this for the comic-con people this show is made for them you know yeah and 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 for us not to be there is really really strange it is yeah. I'm sure we would see thousands of um, Sonny's and, and little little Henry cosplay. I know. <laughs> I, might, I might have I might have to change our cosplay plans. Right? We're right. going as a family, as a group of you know we're gonna all dress like Splatoon characters. My kids are you know right. ten and eight and they they love right. Splatoon and stuff. But right. I don't know. Maybe next year I'll I'll let them watch the show. You know, I mean they're not really at the part where you know the show is more adult than it is you know for kids. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I've, I've showed them I've showed them some of the scenes. You know, some of the scenes that are that are a little more toned down in you know sure. where it's just a, you know. There's not many, but that's still a good thing for us. Yeah, you know? my eight-year-old niece watches it because she's been to set a couple times. Also, then yeah, so she but, understands but where it's, it is complex for her because she asked her mom. She goes. Hey, no one on this show. There's no good people on this show, <laughs> said, which is interesting. Killing, right? You know, note for an eight-year-old kid to go. Oh, everyone here is morally questionable. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, it's not not really a kids show. It takes. Right. I would say like I would wait till like thirteen or fourteen to comfortably say that you guys yeah. could watch. Uh, yeah. th- kids but, could oh, watch. They will, but they will watch it. You know, I'm, I'm yeah. trying to get these kids to watch. Also, we're starting slow and I'm building them up. You know. To all the good stuff that they have yet to watch, which is great. Right, um, right. But yeah, Comic Con, we're gonna—I don't know, man. We might have to start some campaign, you know, and get people on board. We'll we'll probably at you, and we'll you know we'll get. We'll yeah, get, yeah, for I sure. Want, I want, I'm we want over. you to be there, man. We just you know you're absolutely. Yeah, we. Right. Hey, it's not like the cast doesn't want to be there. We want to be there, so. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we want to we want to promote the show. I mean, it's we work so damn hard on this show. Absolutely. Like, look, I worked at, in this business for 20 years, right? I've done over 60 movies. This is the hardest thing I've ever worked on. It's really hard to put this show together. Yeah. Like it's very physically hard. It's emotionally demanding. I mean, we this season took nine months to film, right? And I was at a certain point, I was working six day weeks. Yeah. And it's like, I've never worked that hard in my life. And you only <laughs> do that when you love it, you know, when you love yeah. something like that. And so well, to, yeah. you know, you wanted to get out there. You wanted to get love because you put so much passion and effort into it and like, also, not just just me. It's like everybody on the cast. It's hard to shoot in Ireland in the winter, man. It's, oh my god, yeah. It's tough. You know, we're yeah, outdoors man. most of the time, and some of those scenes that you see are raining weren't meant to be raining. It just started raining just that day. To be raining. Had to oh, film man, through it. Yeah. And there's a scene that you'll see later where it, it started snowing and snowflakes like that big. Oh. We're coming down. We're like, you know, the the producers like, should we call the day? I'm like, no, we gotta make the day. So we just made it a snow scene, you know. Yeah. So, that's, yeah, so but like, that makes it cool. Like that's like an ex, that's that extra level, and sure. you guys can see it, you know. Yeah, that's but actually, yeah, we yeah. endure to get it out to everybody, and so like, you know, it's, we want, we, you know, it's, it'd be nice to get some love for it. Uh, all right, so that's it, Daniel. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Chris. Thank uh, you for everything. Thank you. Where where can they get you? Where, where can they hit you up? Uh, you can hit me on my Instagram mostly, which is uh, that Daniel Wu. At Dan Daniel Wu, um, and it, it all pushes to my Twitter okay. and uh, uh, my Facebook. And the Twitter is Daniel Wu Yanzu, is my Chinese name, W U Y A N Z U. Um, it's been more active of the past couple of days because Twitter, of my yeah. little anchor turned yeah. into You're Donald Trump and Kanye West. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's understandable. But yeah, yeah uh, 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 hopefully it will get the word out there and get more attention to, to the show. Yeah, cool. All right. All right. So, uh, so check us out of course i'm sure we're going to get a lot of comments from having daniel on so write in the comment section below at third person podcast on youtube check us out on instagram we'll be posting a bunch of stuff we'll get some clips from the interview and we'll put some good stuff up there check us out on facebook of course at third person pod and have a listen to this uh on itunes as well if you'd like yep so that's it again daniel thank you very much for being here thanks guys we'll Take see you care. next time friends of the badlands peace If you want to see more of our interview with Daniel Wu, click that video on the left. Also, if you miss the 80s like I do, then head over to the Retro Squat YouTube channel where the 80s are alive and kicking. Or click one of those videos.